where would you like to start? At the beginning? At the beginning. This is my dream space. It had no walls. It just has beautiful light, all windows on two sides. You actually have lush tropical foliage. Here as, as much well. as I can, yeah. We were looking at a lot of bromeliad plants and crotons and all kinds of ficuses. Uh, and the art hanging around here is all yours? Yes. So this wall over here is a wall of rabbits. Scores, maybe hundreds of rabbits. In 19th century frames, my little flea market finds. I hear birds. Let's go see them. Okay, here are the kids <laughs> saying hi to us. What is this big, beautiful white bird? This is Coco, who just my was sent to me from the Cadiano Zoo. Hey, Coco. What is he? Oh, this is an umbrella cockatoo. We have a few that don't get along as well as they should, but um, here... Oh. Now he's landed on you. This is Carolina, who came from Arizona. She is a macaw, a uh -huh. member of the parrot family, the largest member of the parrot family. To see one, A, close up, B, free, and standing on your shoulder, the, the, the colors are insane. Spectacular. It's hard to beat nature. Yeah. Here we're looking at a painting of a... a Cockatoos. This is a picture I just worked on for the last week. These are sort of all my guides and mentors. Can you hear it? There's a scratching sound that goes along with it. So this would take me, you know, a few hours to do the whole thing. So unlike a lot of painters, not just contemporary ones, but some contemporary ones, y you really paint. I you don't have a hundred assistants who do the work for you. No. Making these marks to allow the light to come through, basically. So you're seeing about five levels of paint instead of one. Mirandi had a big pile of old paint. He called it his mistakes. Should we go look at Lincoln's? Let's go look at Lincoln's. You paint Lincoln a lot. and I do. I think he's one of the most important Americans that ever lived. He's just such a great American hero and such a charged image. You know, we don't have much of that in this yep. country. Yep. A lot of blue Lincolns. Why does Lincoln tend to be blue? In their well, lives? you know, in an altered state, there's usually a blue, you know, kind of an enlightened vision. So he's looking back at us from his blue world, trying to guide us. Is that an aesthetic idea, or literally you think about Lincoln on a certain hour, a certain day, and see him in blue? No, some days I see him in red. 